Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from Laplace transform. So let's get going. Problem find L of e power minus t sine square t. We know that cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Right? Now, bring this 2 sine square theta to LHS and take cos 2 theta to RHS. Then you will get 2 sine square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. Then, sine square theta equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2 theta. Right? Now, for theta equal to t, just replace theta by t. Then you will get sine square t equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2t right or 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos 2t now consider this e power minus t into sine square t is equal to e power minus t into replace sine square t with 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2t or with the second one then you'll get 1 by 2 into e power minus t minus e power minus t cos 2t right or 1 by 2 e power minus t minus 1 by 2 e power minus t cos 2t right therefore e power minus t sin square t equal to 1 by 2 e power minus t minus 1 by 2 e power minus t cos 2t. Let's now find L of e power minus t sin square t is equal to L of just replace this by this result. Then you'll get L of 1 by 2 e power minus t minus 1 by 2 e power minus t cos 2t. Now let's apply linearity property here 1 by 2 are constants. We'll Write this as constant into L of function of t, some function of t, minus 1 by 2 into L of some function of t. Right? Since we know that L of e power minus a t equal to 1 by s plus a, then L of e power minus t equal to just come by comparing these two we'll get a equal to 1 then for a equal to 1 we'll have 1 by s plus 1 right and also we know that l of e power minus a t cos b t equal to s plus a by s plus a whole square plus b square then l of e power minus t cos 2t equal to then for a equal to 1 and b equal to 2. Simply we have to replace s by s plus the quotient of t. Okay. You will get s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus quotient of t here is 2 that is in angle. We'll get 2 square. This equals to s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4. Now coming to the problem. L of e power minus t is 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by 2 into L of e power minus t minus t cos 2t is s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4. Now take 1 by 2 common and simplify it. This becomes 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square is s square plus 1 plus 2s plus 4 which gives us 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus s plus 1 by s square plus 2s plus 5 which is equal to 1 by 2 into LCM of these two is s plus 1 into s square 
plus 2s plus 5 and in the numerator we'll get 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5 is s square plus 2s plus 5 minus s plus 1 into s plus 1 is s plus 1 whole square right which gives us 1 by 2 into s square plus 2s plus 5 minus of s plus 1 whole square is s square plus 1 plus 2s by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5. Then L of e power minus t sine square t equal to 1 by 2 into s square plus 2s plus 5 minus s square minus 1 minus 2s by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5. So here plus 2s minus 2s gets cancelled. Plus s square minus s square gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by 2 into 5 minus 1 is 4 by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5 which gives us 2 by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5 or we can find the same problem in another way okay let's see the other way using for shifting theorem we know that if l of f of t equal to f of s then L of e power minus at f of t equal to f of s plus e, right? Now just by comparing these two, we'll have f of t equal to sine square t, right? Let's simplify sine square t now. Since we know that cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta, now bring this 2 sin square theta to LHS and take this cos 2 theta to RHS then you'll get 2 sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta then sin square theta equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2 theta now just replace theta by t then you'll get sin square t equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2t right now just replace this sine square t by 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2t. Let's now find L of f of t. L of f of t equal to L of 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2t. Right? Since 1 by 2 is constant, so we can write this as 1 by 2 into L of 1 minus cos 2t. Right? Again, we can write this as 1 by 2 into now apply the linearity property. Then you'll get L of 1 minus L of cos 2t. Since we know that L of 1 equal to 1 by S and L of cos a t equal to S by S square plus A square. Right. Then you'll get 1 by 2 into L of 1 is 1 by S minus just compare these two then for A equal to 2 you'll have L of cos 2t equal to S by S square plus 2 square which gives us 1 by 2 into 1 by S minus S by S square plus 4. Okay. This equals to 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus s by s square plus 4 which is our f of s okay so here our f of s is 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus s by s square plus 4 right now coming to L of e power minus t sine square t. We know that if L of f of t equal to f of s, that is if L of f of t equal to f of s, then L of e power minus a t f of t equal to f of s plus a. 
just by comparing these two we'll get for a equal to 1 f of s plus 1 we are having f of s which is 1 by 2 into 1 by s minus s by s square plus 1. Let's find f of s plus 1. Just replace this s by s plus 1. Then you'll get f of s plus 1 equal to 1 by s plus 1 minus s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4. Right? This equals to 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4. I'll write it again. f of s plus 1 equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by s plus 1 minus s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 4. Let's simplify this. Take the LCM of these two, we'll get s plus 1 into s plus 1 whole square plus 4. The numerator will get 1 into s plus 1 whole square plus 4 is s plus 1 whole square plus 4 minus s plus 1 into s plus 1 is s plus 1 whole square plus s plus 1 whole square minus s plus 1 whole square gets cancelled. This equals to 1 by 2 into 4 by s plus 1 into s plus 1 whole square is s square plus 1 plus 2s plus 4. This gives us 2 by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 1 plus 5. Sorry, 1 plus 4 is 5. You got the same answer, right? Before L of e power minus t sine square t equal to 2 by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5. Therefore, L of e power minus t sine square t equal to 2 by s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 5. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from Laplace transforms in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.